week three, workout number two, will take you around 21 minutes to complete. We're changing things slightly this time. We're going to be working for 30 seconds, resting for 10 seconds. You're going to be completing eight rounds of four exercises. Okay. Remember to push at your maximum effort. Look at your posture. Think about your posture. Think about your technique because you're going to get tired. Your first one is going to be a sumo squat with alternating knee lifts. And it's going to look like this. For the sumo squat, you want to stand quite wide, toes and knees facing out diagonally. And we're going to squat low. As you come up, you're going to do a knee lift and crunch. And then repeat it on the other side. When you do that crunch, bring that elbow down, bring the knee up, because we're crunching the bit in between, working the obliques. The side view, nice and low and crunch. Nice and low and crunch. So 30 seconds of that, 10 seconds rest, and then you're going to get down for a plank with the difference. For your forearm planks with your alternating knee touches, obviously you're going to be in your straight arm plank position, which is your top push up position. Make sure that body is straight, no Rocky Mountain ranges. So get that butt nice and low, lift that belly button, and then you're going to bring your left knee through, touch it with your right hand. Right knee comes through, touch it with the left hand. Try not to rotate the hips too far, because we want to work the abs. All right, so the more you battle to balance, the harder those abs will work. So 30 seconds of that, then we're gonna jump up again and do narrow squats. Right, so now we're going to do our narrow squats. For that, you need to have your feet only hip width apart, toes facing forward, and you're going to go right down and squeeze the butt as you come up. And we're going to do 30 seconds of those. Remember, feet hip width apart, all the way down, all the way up. After that, we're going to be doing 30 seconds side to side forearm plank jumps. For that, you're going to have to be on the floor. So the side to side plank jumps, you're going to be in your forearm plank position. Make sure that you pull your belly button up, squeeze those butt cheeks, and then we're going to hop side to side. Little jumps. Doesn't have to be very big. If those are too difficult for you, you're just going to hold the forearm plank. And those are your four exercises. You're going to repeat those four exercises eight times. 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. And that's your workout.